Humans are very hard to replicate artificially. Surprisingly, animals are much simpler to replicate than humans. In this video, you're going to see a few awesome robots inspired by animals with advanced and complex systems. Among these robots, there is one that can do wall jumps, a new animal inspired gripper, Uncle Sam, and more. Watch till the end to see how robot animals are going to be helping humans, like how living animals have been for centuries. Spot Mini is the public consumer version of a robot project made for military called Big Dog, developed by Boston Dynamics. Big Dog was built in 2005 to carry soldiers' heavy equipment into the field and save soldiers' energy. Big Dog was a four-legged robot with the incredible power to carry more than its weight on its back. It weighed 240 pounds and had a very sophisticated program to stabilize this four-legged robot. Big Dog was developed with the most advanced walking mechanism ever created for a robot. With this system integrated into Big Dog, it had no problem jogging uphill carrying the maximum weight of 400 pounds. Even though it had the most advanced systems, it was rejected by the military due to the loud humming sound generated by its engine. After their masterpiece was rejected, Boston Dynamics reduced the size of the robot and developed a new version of it called Spot. They then improved it and renamed it Spot Mini. Spot Mini comes with a robotic arm attached to it where its head's supposed to be. Its operations are much more advanced and sophisticated than any of its previous versions. Octopus Gripper Octopus Gripper is a new gripping technology developed by Fest. Over the years, Fest has been developing and releasing a set of animal-inspired robots from a mechanical kangaroo to robotic butterflies. Taking a break from these full animal designs, Fest took a step back to develop new technology inspired by an animal, a tentacle of an octopus. Octopus Scripper is built with a silicone-based stretchy material and powered and operated by multiple airstreams. The Gripper features two rows of vacuum cups like the suction cups on an octopus's tentacles. Because of this no-joint design, the Gripper can hold a wide variety of objects, whether the object is round, slippery, or a rough surface. If the object is too heavy for the tentacle alone, the vacuum cups on the tentacle can provide extra gripping power to hold on to the object. Researchers say this development can unveil the path to more safe and functional robotics unlike any other technology. This next bot may give you the creepy crawlies, but its real world applications could change how search and rescue crews work. Cram is a cockroach developed by the University of California inspired by the capabilities of cockroaches. Did you know cockroaches are one of the most indestructible insects on earth? Well, let me give you some insight into the world of cockroaches. A cockroach can withstand 900 times its body weight without getting any injury. Have you ever seen a human do that? Cockroaches can also shrink down to one-tenth of their resting body height, giving them the ability to come inside your house, through the cracked tiles, and in your kitchen sink while you sleep. Not to mention the skill to sneak into your cabinets. Inspired by these abilities of cockroaches, researchers at the University of California went and built a robot with cockroach-like abilities called Cram. With its squash-proof design, researchers say that these crams show potential for search and rescue missions in collapsed areas. Next up, Batbot. Yes, Batbot, not Batman. Batbot is, well, a bat developed by the researchers at Caltech University. Engineers at Caltech thought drones with high-speed propellers are dangerous for human environments, so they went into developing a new flight system that is safe and sound for social environments. As a result, BatBot was born. BatBot weighs around 93 grams and has a wingspan of one foot. Although living bats have more than 40 joints for their functions of their wings, the engineers optimized the joints of the bat down to a mere nine, which makes the bat bot much more maintainable and simple in design. A bat can alter its wing shape by flexing, extending, and twisting at its shoulders, elbows, wrists, and legs, giving it extreme manipulation of its flight. Bats are known for having the most sophisticated power flight system in the animal kingdom. As mentioned earlier, their flight system involves several types of joints, 
that can interlock the muscles and the bones to each other, creating an amazing musculoskeletal system that is capable of movements in more than 40 rotational directions. But the BatBot isn't capable of this yet, let alone take off the ground by itself. Yet when it's in the air, the bot's onboard computer can perform the autonomous flight, including sharp turns and dives. The engineers of BatBot had to develop a special fabric material with an ultra-thin silicone-based membrane that simulates stretchable bat wings. The bot isn't capable of many operations yet because it is still under development, but according to the researchers, it's the most sophisticated bat-inspired flight system ever created. Next up, part metal, part organic robot, it's Biohybrid Stingray. Harvard University sure does some crazy experiments. This time they made a robot, part metal, part rat heart cells. This biohybrid robot was inspired by the Stingray. A Stingray has two muscle groups in its fins to pull its wings up and down, but the robot ray only has one muscle group. Now if there is only one muscle group to pull the wings up and down, how does it keep flapping its fins, right? Well, for that, the hybrid ray has a springy golden skeleton inside its body. Once the fins are pulled down by the muscle group, it springs back into its resting position as soon as the muscle tension is released. These muscles are genetically modified to contract when exposed to special light flashes and the intensity of the light ray. These muscles move in the same synchronized undulations pattern along the edges to propel the robot forward as the stingray does. Being no more than the size of a coin, it can move 9 meters per hour. Now you may have guessed this robot is inside water, right? Well, not quite. The robot is in a nutrient fluid kept around the same temperature as a rat to keep the rat heart muscles cells alive. So it's safe to say it isn't leaving anyone's lab anytime soon. Okay, now it's time to meet Uncle Sam. I know you've been waiting to meet him. Uncle Sam is a snake robot. We have no idea why they named it Uncle Sam, but let's keep going. This snake inspired robot, which gives us the creeps with its wiggly movement, was developed by Carnegie Mellon University's engineers. Uncle Sam shows so much more potential than any other search and rescue robot on our list. Because of its snake-like design, it can crawl through cramped spaces, rubbles, pipes, swim through water, and the best one is climbing trees. Well, not actually climbing, more like rolling along the tree. At any rate, Uncle Sam only has one camera in its head for the pilot to guide it. Uncle Sam is made up of a repeated segments of sensors and actuators that allow it to wiggle, roll, sidewind, and wrap around pole-like objects. Yes, that means your legs too. This snake design is currently in operation in medical fields where the doctors need an extra eye in the patient's body. The only thing holding back Uncle Sam and its biggest challenge is the power supply system. If the engineers can find the solution to this problem, Uncle Sam will be soon out of the lab. Running away from Uncle Sam, let's meet the parkour robot, Salto. Most robots tend to plot around when they walk or run like they are on a march, but this guy is like a grasshopper. He can jump and jump again without having to wait. The engineer who built this robot took inspiration from an unusual animal, the Galago. The Galago can jump five times in a row within four seconds with a combined height of 8.5 meters. How does it do it? Well, no muscle in its body can do that, but the tendons in its legs are like springs. Tendons of a galago can stretch and hold much more energy than any muscle in its body and release that energy in an instant. Salto uses the same technique as a galago. Inside Salto, there is a motor that drives a spring which loads by a leg lever mechanism. The principle is called power modulation. And by using this principle, Salto can jump 3.3 feet up into the air without any initial movement. But that's not the only thing that makes Salto special. Once Salto is in the air, it can quickly rebound instantly by doing wall jumps, increasing its momentum and the max vertical height. And for your knowledge, Salto is able to do this repeatedly all the time. Salto is only 26 centimeter tall yet it holds the highest vertical jump record by a robot. All right, all of the robots we talked about are pretty much in the early development stage, except the Spot Mini, but this one is basically ready to get out into the real world. The Manta Droid. Yes, it's a robot inspired by the Manta Ray. This is the latest development of robotic machinery by the National University of Singapore. Manta Droid can smoothly glide through water faster than any other robot while showing incredible agility. Manta Droid doesn't have any propellers, instead it uses a flapping motion using wings to propel forward smoothly. 
It's the same size as a juvenile manta ray, giving the robot wingspan of 63.4 centimeters and a body length of 35 centimeters. The unique feature of this robot is its flexible wing mechanism. Each wing contains one actuator to move the wing in the up and down motion. The rest of the fins interact naturally with the fluid dynamics of the water absorbing any rocky feedback forces produced by the fluid. This allows the Manta Droid to propel forward without any shaky movements. Manta Droid is capable of swimming two times its body length per second, making it the fastest robot Manta Droid developed to this day. According to researchers, Manta Droid swarms are not that far away from underwater investigations. In conclusion, all of the above robots are in development phases, with some of them showing incredible potential for real life applications, like the Manta Droid, and of course, Uncle Sam. From my perspective and my opinion, Manta Droid, Uncle Sam and Salto, that parkour robot, is the most amazing and one of a kind piece of machinery. Well, that's what I believe. What about you? Which one do you think is the most amazing and why? Tell us in the comments below. For more amazing tech videos like these, make sure to hit the subscribe button.